Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I'm your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and today we're going to be talking about Is Groovy Dead? Well, no, duh. So, what's this all about? A lot of things have been happening in the Groovy community and Grails community recently because Pivotal has decided to pull funding for Groovy and Grails. So the six or so odd developers who have been working on Groovy Grails, making it what it is today, um, they're pretty much going to be out on their own soon. Um, does this mean Groovy's dead? Obviously not. It is an open source, uh, very community driven uh, project. And uh, there are some uh, other details I'll get into uh, leading up to this. So uh, one thing is, uh, from what we've heard and what has been said, uh, basically uh, Pivotal is going all in on their Cloud Foundry thing, so they're not seeing Groovy and Grails as being uh, you know, strategic for them anymore, even though Groovy uh, and Grails are very underlying to a lot of the things in Spring Boot, which is pretty much one of the core things that Pivotal is going to be using, I think, in Cloud Foundry. So it's it's kind of strange. Um, it is what it is. So from that, we know that uh, more recently that uh, Guillaume Laforge, I might be mispronouncing this, but uh, he's moving on to Restlet. And Restlet, it will be uh, allowing him to continue his work. Uh, there, he's going to be uh, working with their a, uh, REST API platform, injecting Groovy into that. So they're also going to be allowing him to continue to contribute back to Groovy. And he's one of the main contributors. Uh, we don't know as of yet uh, where the other uh, developers are going because there haven't been any announcements yet but we know there's been talks of this that and the other thing but it's all been kind of behind the scenes and that's going to be coming you know those decisions are going to be coming out imminently if not before this video actually gets posted so another thing that we know is that uh, Groovy is going to become a Apache project so there was a, a vote uh, either a few days or a week ago and basically you know a whole bunch of votes yes and now they're uh, in the Apache Foundation so this will be good um, since you know Groovy doesn't have uh, the backing it had before it might slow down some uh, but all from what I've heard all the developers are committed to actually continuing uh, both the uh, Groovy language and the Grails framework on. So we will still see commits, it just might slow down a little bit, which may not be such a bad thing uh, because Groovy and Grails have come to uh, a certain level of maturity uh, over time and have built up uh, a bit of community around them. Uh, Cedric Champeau, uh, again, if I'm mispronouncing, put up this uh, blog post where he just showed uh, the commits over time, who did the most, and just you know how many uh, contributors there were. And if you go down to 2014, we have uh, some 60, uh, 66 odd developers um, contributing to uh, Groovy, which is is a really good thing. Uh, not all of these uh, people are sponsored, but uh, well, hey, if you look at Paul King, who is you know he's an authority on uh group from groovy if he says something it's pretty much fact in the groovy community uh and he's one of the top contributors and he is not a considered a sponsored contributor um so you know there are going to be you know some changes but we'll see what happens so uh let's see also from that uh if you wanted to see like a little bit more uh information there is the groovy podcast where they have Guillaume LaForge from uh groovy and uh graham rocher from uh the grail side uh with peter ludbrook who's uh the um host of this show uh this podcast uh i would definitely check out just the podcast anyways uh just because it's a a uh, good resource. Um, from what I've seen, it's Peter Ludbook and uh, Ken Cousin are the usually the two people who are hosting it. Uh, every once in a while, someone else might be on there because uh, I, you know, for one reason or another. Um, and I kind of noticed that uh, this particular uh, 
podcast doesn't have a lot of views on the YouTube page, so I kind of want to drive, you know, a little bit of, uh, you know, my traffic their way because this is actually, you know, even more, I think, even more important than my show. But, uh, you know, definitely check it out. And they have, you know, access to, you know, obviously the heads of Groovy and Grails, which is a cool thing. Uh, so let's see. So, you know, all in all, what this means is, you know, Groovy and Grails, they will continue on. Um, they've become, you know, they've grown a little bit of niche in, you know, various areas. So we'll see what happens in the future, but they're not going away anytime soon.